Have you ever planned an adventure and then the weather is just like, nah, fam, but then you just like, hmm, weather, I choose to ignore you. Yep, well, that was me today. <laughs> about to explore one of the most historical places in the whole country and I'm not alone today I have an adventure buddy my little sister <laughs> this is my little sister Biwe, Biwe D and she is my adventure buddy for today we're about to explore the Bushman paintings at Nsangwini So I have just learned that um, this place is actually community operated and this is my tour guide for today. His name is Sambulu Lamini and he's going to be showing us around and telling us about the place. Let's go. <laughs> this hike is a bit steep. I feel like I should have done a bit of a warm up <laughs> before we started walking. A bit steep walking up, but I cannot wait to see what we'll arrive to. Oh, according to the weather services, it was supposed to be cold today, so I brought me some coffee. But then now it's hot, and I don't know what to do <laughs> with myself. From here, you can get such a beautiful view of the Nkomazi River and it really just looks so beautiful from up here. It's such a walk in the bushes going to where the paintings are and I was just asking Sambulo to explain why that is and he was explaining that it's because the bushmen had to live um, in the bushes because their lifestyle was literally hunting. They were hunting every day, so they needed to be where the animals, edible animals were. And we're here. We're actually looking at these paintings and the art is so incredible. So Sambula was explaining to us that um, these paintings actually represent the lifestyle of the Bushmen. They used to do this on a daily basis. They would go out and hunt, or rather the men would go out and hunt, and then whatever animal they catch on, they day, on that day, they come back and they paint it on these rocks. They would live in a group of 50 people, 20 to 50 people, yeah? Yeah, 20 to 50 people, and uh, the male's responsibility was to hunt bring in the meat and then the women would go gather the fruits and vegetables and then make food um, with the meat and the fruits and vegetables as well. So apparently these paintings are between 400 and 4,000 years old. So we we're trying to understand why the paintings are not erasing and he was explaining that they are somehow protected because these guys were smart enough to paint right under where the rock curves so that when it rains it doesn't rain onto the paintings so incredible like they were so intelligent and then this painting is them carrying their hunting for the day after a victorious day of hunting. We're just studying these paintings. Point them, Biwe. Yeah, we're just studying these paintings and these guys actually look so tall in those paintings. When apparently, yeah, apparently in real life they were very short. There's a painting here with a human body and wings. So apparently the wings represented the animals and the body represented them. So that put it together because they felt the animals were their angels that were sent to take care of them. A 
apparently these paintings are made from red mud or sbovung is what the mud that in our culture we use when um a groom is taking a wife and then the mother-in-law and the aunties will paint on her face yep that's the same mud that these guys used to use to make those paintings apparently they would also use coal and oak for some of the paintings and it really lasts y'all apparently as the years went by the Bantu people started moving to this side of the continent and they were bringing in the domesticated animals such as your cows and the bushmen because all they knew was to hunt an animal that they see <laughs> grazing around started hunting these cows and these goats and all these domesticated animals so check this they would go and hunt the domesticated animals from the Bantu people and come back and paint them here on their rock <laughs> as one of their huntings for the day it's so cool and when you zoom in here and you um or rather when you look at these paintings you can see paintings of cows and pigs it's so funny but so interesting at the same time you can imagine the war that that started <laughs> So then they started fighting with the Bantu people and the Bantu people outsmarted them and they beat them and the Bushmen had to exit the country and run away and go seek refuge in Botswana and apparently you can still find them there to this day. I feel like I am back in high school in a history lesson today. Like all of these things we learned in primary and high school actually but seeing it live all of it here right in front of you is just it's a different whole nother experience and feeling it's so incredible. that was fun and informative but it's time to hike back up and I'm telling you this is not a fun hike we were not dressed properly for a hike today because I'm just in jeans and boots and I'm telling you that is not the proper gear to wear when you come here And my fitness freak sister is climbing up these rocky mountains like it's nobody's business and I'm out here <laughs> panting like I'm about to die. So during our hike, we are coming across these fruit trees. I think these are guava trees. And then over there in front of me, Gunemanumbela, I have no idea what they're called in English. But it's actually a fruit that um, Swazis love a lot and really enjoy and apparently it's very good. I've never had it myself yet. I haven't had it yet. I will give it a try. But Sambula says if we come back here around November or so, we will find the fruits ready. I cannot get over the beauty of this country, scenery and rivers. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I just realized that the walk to where the paintings are is over a mountain like you literally have to hike up a mountain go over it and go back down the same mountain to find the rock and then climb back up the mountain go over it and climb it back down to go back to the reception I feel so achieved I feel so accomplished right now oh my god well, that was definitely fun. I had a good time. My sister had a good time. We had a good time. I think it was just so special being in that place um, with so much history and knowing that that is valuable history that has existed for more than 400 years and dating back to way, way, way back before Christ. Like that is just absolutely phenomenal for me. I definitely had a good time and Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.
currently these paintings are from between 400 so apparently these paintings are between 400 and 5,000 years old. What's a 4,000 or not 5,000? <laughs> so apparently they oh. And we were just trying to understand and we were just asking how come they're not painting... Eh? Falling off. Erasing. Erasing. <laughs> okay, man.